for me, leadership isn't about me leading. It's about our team of senior leaders leading. And this place works if I'm here or not. Now I've probably done myself out of a job. Like but actually, the senior leadership team yeah, are the people do. that Does lead this centre. Yeah. I guide the team, yes, but we lead this centre together so that we can um, look at the list and start to compile appropriate information to be passed on. Our leadership structure here is probably quite unusual. I started as a head teacher of a nursery school, so I'm head teacher here still of Amscroft Nursery School. But as this whole um, place developed, uh, I became really what, what we like to call head of centre. We also have here an assistant head teacher, we have an assistant centre manager, and we have a nursery manager who manages the daycare part of our provision. So we've got lots of different people at that level, and we've got a child development centre coordinator um, who has a health background, and she coordinates all the work around the child development centre here. And so we have lots of people that can support in that leadership team. One of the ways in which we communicate effectively and discuss things well and try and have some democracy really around the decisions is through all our different types of meetings. We've had one, one dad's come yeah. this time and there's another mum who said her partner will come when he can. Leading a children's centre is very similar to leading anything actually because what you need to do is get people on board and get them feeling that they're part of something and collaborative leadership for me is the, the important words to use. I'm working now with uh, lead paediatricians, clinical coordinators, uh, managers of health visitors, the health visitors themselves, midwives, family workers, senior practitioners from social services, and all those people have wonderful expertise. So the first thing is, as a leader myself, from an educational background, is to recognise the expertise of other people. Then it was about looking at the different cultures of those organisations and saying, come on now, what's the same? What do we all value? And um, when we boil it all down, we actually all have the same ethics and values because what we want to do is deliver a really good family-oriented service here. I like to think of it as making a nice sort of hammock for children and families. And if they sit on it, it's not going to collapse and break because each member of the leadership team and each service itself, it, you know, it, it, the, the main members of each service are working so closely together that people don't fall through the net. And that's our, our main aim here. And as a leader, you've got to recognise that that's what you need to do. Then you have to get people to interweave with you. And that, and that can be a challenge, but if you keep going back to core values, it doesn't go wrong.